Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the questions that's interesting, um, because it will be uh, entangled with a lot of what we do, and it the question just comes with, is there a way to avoid AI? Is there a way for me to avoid all of that artificial intelligence added everywhere within Windows in this case? Um, is it worse in Windows 11 than it is in Windows 10? And, and how will all of that be? Uh, here's the thing, is that there are parts of AI-driven services and, and software that will probably be um, a little bit like Cortana, avoidable to some extent. Uh, for example, the Windows Copilot. I don't believe you have to use it when it's going to be available. Uh, there's a way to just say, I don't want the Copilot to be there and, and to work. Um, that will be more Windows 11 because Copilot doesn't seem to be in Windows 10. So uh, that's the other question also that arises. Is, is Windows 10 better because it's going to be less AI driven? Definitely Windows 11 is going to be more AI driven than 10 because a lot of the new features for AI will come with Windows 11 and then Windows 12. Now, is there a way to be completely AI free? That, mm, no. Uh, because a lot of the online services will actually be using AI too. And if you're on Windows 10, you might notice that Edge does have the Bing Chat AI in it. This is universal on 10 and 11, showing you that some of it will creep in into every operating system. But, of course, what will be the, the minimum that you can have? Or will it be avoidable? It will, it will not be avoidable at all. Because there will be some parts that you just can't avoid. But there will be ways to minimize it. Um, like I said, the Copilot, for example, in Windows 11, Windows 12, will probably be something that you can tweak or turn off uh, if you don't use it. But the future is AI driven and it will be AI driven everywhere, including in other operating systems. There will be AI stuff appearing everywhere. And um, even if you're using Linux, there's a lot of online services and a lot of online things you're going to do that even though not integrated within Linux, it'll be AI driven anyways online. So uh, this is going to be really interesting to see once Copilot is an official thing on 23H2, how well we can, you know, tweak it. What can we turn off or on or what can we do? Uh, definitely, it's an interesting question because a lot of you probably, and, and there's a lot of people out there that just don't care about that AI stuff in Windows. And of course, for some of you, that will be, well, what can I go into the settings and turn off or on, or what can I do? So uh, this is um, going to be interesting to see. And of course, we're going to talk about it. Uh, that 23H2 and with Copilot there, we will, of course, address in some of the videos what exactly can we turn off and how can we at least control some of the AI that we have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.